Hi, I'm Savannah and welcome to The Morning Growl. Thriller classes are being offered for the month of October at the Danville Community Arts Center. There will be a performance during Danville's Trick or Treat Monday, October 31st. Classes are just $25 for the whole session. BMS bags are on sale for $10 on Tuesdays and Thursdays and are being sold in the cafeteria at lunch time for all grades. Now on to Miss Satterley with the drug awareness. Good morning, Bulldogs. I'm Mrs. Satterley, your friendly guidance counselor. As many of you know, you received a red, red ribbon during first period yesterday morning. This week, the last week of October, is Red Ribbon Week, which is a week where we discuss and talk about drug and alcohol awareness. And I'm going to give you a little bit of history about Red Ribbon Week. Red Ribbon Week was started by the National Family Partnership in 1988 to commemorate the life and death of a drug enforcement agent named Kiki Camarina, who was killed in the fight against drugs. We're also going to discuss, start discussing today the top 10 myths about drugs and alcohol. And as many of you all know, a myth is true, but is not. So today I'm going to do the first five of the top 10 myths about drugs and alcohol. Myth number one, everybody's doing it. Not everybody's doing it. Whether you think so or not, not everybody's doing it. A poll in 2005 found that only 23.1% of 12th graders, seniors in high school, reported using an illicit drug, and only 47% of seniors in high school reported drinking alcohol in the past month. So not everybody's doing it. Not even 50%. Not even half. The second myth about drugs and alcohol is, I can stop anytime I want. We all know drugs and alcohol are very addictive, and you cannot stop anytime you want. Nobody starts using drugs with the intention of getting hooked, but it happens. Addiction is very unpredictable and it can happen to anyone, so you cannot stop anytime you want. Myth number three, beer isn't as bad as hard liquor. Liquor is liquor. Whether it's beer, alcohol, wine, what have you, it's all the same and you can get hooked no matter what. Myth number four, I can drink or get high and be in control of myself. We all know that's not true because there are legal implications when you drink or do drugs and drive or go out in public, anything like that. Drugs and alcohol do not allow you to ever be in control of yourself. And myth number five, it's okay to drive if you're a little high or have had a few drinks. It's not okay. Two drinks, if you get pulled over, you can get a DUI, which means driving under the influence, which means you would spend time in jail. You cannot just do a little and still be okay. These myths are very important that you know, that you know that they're not true and that you know your boundaries and things you need to do to stay away from them. Thank you. sports announcements. Danville Marching Band wrapped up first place this weekend at the regionals and are now moving on to semifinals this weekend in Bowling Green. Bait Girls Cross Country Team got first place beating DCA and Garrett County and Boyle County. Now on to Sarah with the weather. and this is your weather announcements. Today through Friday, it should be rainy in, in the low 50s and high 40s. But that won't stay for long because your weekend, Saturday and Sunday, should be sunny and still in the mid 50s. Thank you for watching the morning growl. <laughs> 